Hey guys, Mr. Purple LP here, and this is StarCraft 2. Now, this was one of the first uh, one versus ones <laughs> I played in this game. Uh, so this is me in the sort of northwestish <laughs> position, I guess, uh, as the Terran. Um, now, obviously, I'm not like Husky StarCraft. And I'm not very good at this, so I don't know the hotkeys for all the like things up here. That's APM, stuff like that. Um, and this is—I <laughs> forgot to introduce my enemy. This is the my enemy, Da Boss. He's playing the Red Zerg, and we're having a nice chat here, which I'm not going to. Read. Now, this was not a very long game. Uh, it's about 20 minutes, 34 seconds long, but. Starcraft time is faster than real time. So this will be like a 16 or 17 minute video. Now, I am not going to be able to do very in-depth stuff, because I don't know very well. I didn't... I started playing Starcraft like a month ago, and I'm still in the Bronze League. <laughs> which means I'm very bad compared to some of the really top tier players, like um, the little one or some other people. But I do know a little bit. So basically what I did was I pumped nine, I got nine supply SVs and then I uh, threw down a supply depot. And then I threw down a barracks and continued to pump SCVs and I really just keep continuing pumping SCVs, especially against Zerg. Zerg can uh, train a lot of things at once. Right now he apparently was making a bunch of zerglings and is pushing out across the map towards me. Fantastic. I sort of remember this game, but this was a while ago and I don't really remember what happened. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, so I'm throwing down my second barracks. This was stupid of me. I did not wall off and now he's going to be able to get in like super easy, probably. So I'm going to mess around with this a bit of units lost okay let's see what happens <laughs> let's watch this bar here. all right so i lost one he lost one I'm trying to take out my supply depot he does and i've lost three units 200 resources. He's only lost 25. Dang. So he actually is doing considerable damage to me. But a few of these. At least three of them. At least 150 of this is Marines, I think. Yes. <laughs> he hates me because I beat off his. Uh, Zerglings there. So now I'm th I threw down a reactor which allows me to pump two marines at a time for these dudes. And I'm keeping this to just pump marines while the reactor is building. I'm also throwing down a third barracks because I really like the uh, bio of the bio side of the Mar Terran army. Marines, Marauders, stuff like that. He is transitioning into Roach. Roaches. Oh. Which are good. Very, quite good against Marines. Not so good against Marauders, but good enough. Um, he's got Creep Tumors going down, which simply spreads the Creep around. I'm explaining this because... <laughs> because uh, it's sort of it's mostly to help me understand what I'm talking about because this is the first like commentary I've done of uh, Starcraft 2 so it's a little difficult to think through all this now APM means actions per minute like how many clicks and stuff you're doing how many movements I am doing an average of 35. His average is 26, so mine's a little higher. And 
I have watched replays of me before where I've gone over a hundred actions per minute, which is pretty fast, and right there I did reach between 80 and 90, so that was pretty good. Um, I threw down another reactor, so I, I can make four marines at a time here, and uh, I put down a tech lab, which allows me to make marauders and reapers, and ghosts, but I need a ghost academy to build a ghost. And now I'm res researching combat shield, which will give these marines a shield and boost their health a little bit by 10. And it does help quite a bit. Now this is a build I sort of made up. <laughs> um, I haven't just sort of sat down and tried to l learn a build order. or uh, I've just sort of made them up as I go. And this is one I use all the time three racks, uh, two reactor, one, um, one, pff, my mind's not thinking, Mine, one tech lab, uh, research, the combat shield, and the concussive shells, which is for the marauders, it, it'll, uh, it slows down enemy units when it hits them. And then I throw up a factory, which will give me some tanks and stuff. Still pumping the uh, roach. Is he's not really doing anything else. This is very unorthodox style for Zerg player. Usually they'll expand, which is what he's doing here. But usually Zerg, every, most Zerg I play against will expand like two times within the first ten minutes of the game, and we're about to reach the ten-minute mark, and he's just thrown down that hatchery. So. That's a little strange. I got my orbital command up. It looks like not too long ago. Um, is there units? Yes. Okay. So this shows what we have. I have 23 SCVs. He has 19 drones. This is part of the reason why he lost. I think is because he has less drones than I do, or less workers than I do. So I'm getting more money. There should be resources. I'm. This is how much resources I have. Spending. That's how much he spent. This is how much I've spent. Induction. This shows what is being built at this time. Four, four marines, one marauder, and a starport. I forgot it. There. No starport. And I'm... A minute ago, I think he... I read it, but I didn't pay attention. Um, he said he had four expansions, and I don't even have one yet. So that sort of, that sort of uh, made me scared, because if Zerg get too many expansions, there's almost no way you can stop it. It's almost impossible. Um, so I'm kind of looking around, and I apparently stopped <laughs> here, because, oh, because he had Overlord. That Overlord has 7 HP, he snuck away with 7 HP. If I had hit one more shot on him, he would have died, pretty much. Now, I have a very bad habit of not spending my money. <laughs> so, I, my money will skyrocket because I'm so busy watching my army. It's ridiculous. He's spending very well, I am not. My APM just broke 100. This is where it usually breaks 100 for me, is when I'm trying to fight and kill him while making more units at the same time. This hatchery is going to go down. My army is going to die. <laughs> so, not exactly the best. And now I'm sort of anticipating that he's going to make a push forward here and try to take me down, which I can't remember. Oh, he has Hydras. I did not see this. He threw up a Hydralisk den. Hydras are anti-air, but they're pretty weak against tanks, which is what I have. And if I have Siege, yes, I am researching Siege tech, which gives the tank Siege mode. And I'm making a lot of units, because I get the feeling he's coming. 
for blood. Which he is. But I did delay that expansion quite a lot. So that is a good thing for me. I have some medivacs which will heal my units. I've got more tanks rolling out. And I have a pretty solid wall in, except for this one little area here which I think they can sneak through. He's checking my expansion. And he's starting to come up and I'm sort of caught off guard. Takes out one of my reactors. Surprised he didn't get caught. My siege tanks. And now he's the one in trouble. He does not have very many units. He is pumping quite a few roaches, mostly roaches, and a couple hydras. No, I. I forget what I did. So we're going to have to wait. Now, bronze level, there's not a ton of action going on at once. So there's not a lot to commentate about, really. Um, if you're in, like, Diamond, Diamond League or something, then there's a lot going on at once. And to be quite honest, I'm not sure I could keep up with it at this point in, my, in this commentating thing. So, yeah. Now, I think all I'm going to do... A Starcraft game every now and then. I'm not going to do it a lot, but I do play this quite a bit, so I'm going to do it every now and then at least. So here I'm going for a drop. I'm trying to get up behind the enemy lines and take out as many of those miners as I can. And once again, terrible spending. Tons of money. This is bad. Now that is an that was not a very successful drop, but I did get my people out of there. Most of them, I lost two marines, it looks like. And his creep is still spreading, which gives him more vision of the map. Income. So he is, at this moment, making more than I am. Probably be... Oh, he has four more harvesters, workers, than I do. Now, according to this tab, I, at this moment, have a larger army. I have lost more units, but less resources, because most of my army is quite cheap. It's a very dirt cheap army, except for the Thor. The Thor is a very expensive unit. So at this moment I have seven marauders, two medevacs, one Thor, two siege tanks, and 25 marines. He has nine hydras and 11 roaches. taking shots at this overlord. Pretty sure. And it looks like I'm deciding to move out. Enemy's army is getting pretty big. I have not upgraded my army at all. They have no upgrades. Still on zero armor and the normal amount of damage. Tanks don't have any upgrades, Thors have no upgrades. <laughs> uh, and I left units in here. Accidentally? Now, I don't know why I threw up a tech lab on this, because I don't usually do that. Oh, oh, I take that back. The level 1 armor just completed on my ground forces, my marines and my marauders. Lagging a little bit. My computer is not very powerful, but it runs the game well enough. We're moving in. At this moment, I have. Mineral field depleted. <laughs> How did I do that? Okay, um. That 
asshole. And I win the game. GG's out. Good game. He's left the game, and that is the end. So, thank you for joining me on this first StarCraft II commentary experience. It was pretty bad, I know. I am almost positive. Um, I don't know why I built this command center. I guess my plan was to go here. But, nevertheless, I won the game. And that's all for now. So, thank you for joining me. This has been Mr. Purple LP. See you next time.